Hey everyone, welcome back to the Stable Studio. My name is Steph. Thanks for visiting the channel again. Um, thanks for watching today. Sorry, it's been a while. As always, things are absolutely crazy. Now today, I wanted to get straight into it. Um, I want to kind of go through a song which we covered with a band that I played for, a band called The Fused, which is a like a top 40s uh, function corporate band, which um, myself and my wife play with you know, a couple of times a month we go out and play sort of corporate events and weddings and things. And we posted a cover on my channel here, oh, it's a few years ago now, and a few people have commented on it, and that and it's the cover of Jump by the Pointer Sisters. And a few people have got in touch and said, how do you play the guitar parts on that song? Um, or how have you arranged them? Because obviously it's a little different to the original. I kind of rocked it up a little bit. So today I want to go through um, what I did with the guitar parts of that song. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I literally just took most of the keyboard parts and turned them into guitar parts really, or just enhanced what the keyboard was doing with a bit of kind of rocked up guitar playing really. So um, I'm going to go through that today. Um, the song's in A, well the, the introduction and the chorus is in A, but the verse is in G. So there's a bit of a modulation there between the verse and the chorus, but um, I'll talk you through that. So, Jump by the Pointer Sisters rock version. If you want to see the cover we did, the link's in the description. Go and check that out either now and come back or, or after. Go for it. So, um, introduction starts. It starts on an A. We do it in A. There are other versions of the song in, in different keys possibly, but we do it in A. So, it starts off with just chugging on an A. Something that happens in the introduction, I think it happens once in the introduction and a bunch of times in the chorus, is that I'm just playing these chord shapes um, that, that come from the keyboard part, so which sound like this. Now, they're just basically an A chord, so I've got the root and the third from an A chord, so I'm playing seventh fret D string, sixth fret G string, with the open A string underneath. Then the next one is 7th fret D string, 7th fret G string with the open A string again, which is a D over A, so D with an A in the bass. Then 6th fret 4th string, 4th fret 3rd string, so with the open A string as well. And that's like an E over A, well it's not like an E over A, it is an E over A. And I'm always keeping that open A string under each one. So I'm just moving from the A to D and then the E back to the A. Well at least that's what I'm currently doing when we play that song live. I mean on the video I'll have to watch back, I might be... Different way, there's different places to play the same thing. But recently, I've been letting the keyboards do more of the higher stuff, and I've just been keeping the lower, the lower notes there. So that happens in the introduction and the chorus. Okay. Um, the verse obviously changes to the key of G. Go down to a G at the beginning. Of and I'll begin that with just chugging on the G again. And then. So then I'm changing to an. It's like an F add 9 chord. It's probably my favourite chord in the world ever. I use that all the time, especially writing songs. If I can fit this chord in somewhere, generally it'll be in there because it's probably my favourite. Love that chord. So basically it's. Uh, third fret on the fifth string and the fourth string, so the C and the F there. First fret on the B string. But I'm leaving the G string there open, so. And then it's kind of following the vocal this part, so. I'm... So I'm playing the F at nine, then kind of a, basically a C chord, but it's still over the F at this point. C over F, so then just the, the two 
uh, the, the D and the G string open, the two middle strings open, so back to G. Some, some different bass notes underneath. So the, you then get an, a, an F, G, and then C, and back to F, D minor. And then there's a, a G with a B in the bass, which sometimes I'll play like that. Or if I'm feeling, feeling a little bit more lazy on that particular gig, I'll just play. G and a B. But if not, I'll just play the, the full G chord. The G triad there. I'll tune my guitar up in a minute. <laughs> and put the B in the bass there. And then it goes to E. And that's where it modulates back to the chorus in A. So just that little section again is F. song uh, for the verse and the chorus. The only other part is this little middle section um, which Triads, three string versions of your triads, totally worth learning for any style of music, for anything you ever do, especially if you're doing a lot of stuff with a keyboard player. It's great because it just fits well with keyboard players in general. You're not taking up too much real estate um, as far as like playing full chords. Where, you know, it works quite well. But anyway, A, and then you've got like an A add nine chord, which is. Same on the C, and then C add 9. So that's A, and the add 9 is 7, 4, 5 on the 4th, 3rd, 2nd strings. I'm a bit slow with numbers, sorry, I'm just, I'm better with notes. So A, B, E. So that's A, A9, add 9. Then the same on the C, which is the same thing on the 8th fret. That's the 3rd finger on the 8th fret. Uh, sorry, 10th fret. 1st finger on the 8th fret. And then it goes to an F. There's kind of like a, a little bit of a Lydian kind of sound here. You've got kind of like a raised 4th on the, on the F. So I'm playing the F here, which is the F triad. 10, 10. 10 on the 4th, 3rd, 2nd string, so that's an F dry there. And I'm adding the, the 12th fret on the B string, which is that like, raised 4th thing. And there's a little riff, which follows the vocal. So 0, 3, 0, 2 on the, the, the lowest two strings. And then it repeats.
The only thing that changes after that is there's a key change at the end of the song and it goes up to F. And all I do on that is just rock the F. Because by that point, certainly with the track that we use with the band, there's, there's tons of stuff that's coming by that point, loads more keys, loads more of everything. So for me to do that, like, that kind of thing, I didn't bother with, you know. I thought it was better for me to just give us some power in the low end there whilst all the keys did their thing. So that's the whole, that's the whole thing, that's the whole song. So hopefully that's giving you an insight on how, to, how I arranged that version of the song for that video. So. Let me know what you think. If there's a, you know, if there's a part of it you don't understand, just, you know, drop us a comment. I'm happy to, to help you out. Um, like I say, there's a, there's a link in the description to the cover that we did. Have, have a watch, let us know what you think and um, drop us any questions in the, in the comments and I'll hopefully speak to everyone again soon. And there's some more videos, definitely some more videos coming up on the channel soon because um, I'm gonna start doing more production kind of videos as well I think because what I do in the studio most of the time is music production mostly sort of country country rock and pop music so I'm going to do a little bit more of that some guitar stuff as well definitely but um, yeah if you like um, what you've heard or seen today please like and subscribe and um, it helps out the channel and I'll catch you all soon thank you see you later bye